Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World. And we're going to be talking about Wendy Williams. Yes, what the hell is Wendy Williams doing outside without any shoes? Now I can see if homie was out there on her beach, her prop, her beach front. I mean, her beachfront property, and she was sashaying in her Versace underwear or robe or whatever she wanted to get down and do it at. You know what I'm saying? Wendy is worth ooh, too much money. Okay? Too much money. We can say from 40 million to 80 million, somewhere in that range bracket. But baby girl, you have Graves' disease, okay? You don't need to be out there walking barefooted on the concrete, on the sand, on the grass. Graves' disease is so much like having diabetes. You got to keep your skin away from harmful things. You know your feet swell up like that. Wendy, what the hell is going on with you? You have Gray's disease. You have the thinning hair. You have the swollen lymph nodes. Uh, lymph nodes. You have, this is a picture that you shared with us about your feet and how swollen they can get. Girl, it's like I could just put a pin in it and it'll pop. Seem like you got some gang green going on over there, but it seems like maybe it might just be your blood flow. But you know you don't need to be out there. You can step on glass. You can step on hard plastic. You can step on a nail. Then you got to get a tetanus shot. All these pivotal things. I'm like, girl, is that your clone? Is that your clone they got running around here trying to act like you? Is that your robot girl? Because I know, good and doggone well, you got more sense in your body to not be out there barefooted. I mean, you was out there. It was wet. It was cold. One day you called yourself sashay and wanted to get some fresh air. And you left the hospital. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Get them slippers. You were styling and profiling right there, Wendy. And, you know, we got, we got, we understand the grace disease, how the eye bulging and all that. And you had to get you a little vape in here and there. Okay, we get it. We got it good. But, baby girl, you are doing more harm to yourself by walking around here barefooted naked. Okay, I guess if you had your way, you would be butt-ass naked out there. Forget the robe, forget the bra, forget the pants. You would just be out there one with nature. But Wendy, Wendy, girl, we miss you. We love you. We, we want to see you do better, but damn, do better. You know better, do better, Wendy. Put some shoes on your feet. I know Versace got some red matching slippers. Okay, now see, those feet so swollen, you couldn't even put no uh, socks on that. I mean, you so smart to where you're just simply dumb. And where's your team at? Where are the people that's supposed to be around you looking out for your well-being? Okay, and you know it ain't none of my business, but as loud, I mean, as quiet as it's kept, the louder I'm going to speak it out. Wendy, is that you walking around here in these streets, or is that your clone? That's why I want to know. Because ain't nobody in a good mind. Even if I know they're sick like you and you, you're going through some things and you allegedly they saying you detoxing. But baby girl, when we got fresh air, we need to have shoes on our feet. Some type of shoes. Slippers. Whatever. How you want to put it. We don't just need the socks. We need slippers. Because where you stay, it is kind of cool. And everybody looking at you. You know everybody looking at you. Prince. Uh, Whitney. A oh, Riri, Cat Williams, all the one that's live around him. And sometimes he be acting like he have deceased. But that's just not so good look. When you work too much money. Too much money to be running around him ass out with the shoes, okay? I mean, that's just poor, poor judgment. And that, that puts it in a welfare being check. Like, you know, do we need to check on your well-being? Because somebody in that wellness clinic, I don't care if you're in Florida, Arizona, uh, New Mexico, wh where are you at? You need to have some slippers on your feet, girl. You're just asking for another ailment to come your way. And you sure don't want no uh, tetanus 
going on where you stepped on a rusted nail, then they might have to cut off your whole, whole leg, girl. Get it together, Wendy. Get it together. But yeah, uh, she was around there flossing around, sashaying, coming from the well in the center. I don't know if she checked out or she was just out and about, you know, just leaving her uh, room for a couple of hours to get that breeze. Because I'm still trying to figure out who riding you around in a robe. Now, you know you like to dress up. You know you like to look good. And you running around here with your grace disease with a robe. I'm like, do you have on any pants? Do you have on any drawers with me? Do you have on any drawers? Do you have a bra on, baby? What, what's going on with you? You coming out looking half-assed. You know, your hair ain't together. You know, it could have been up in a bun or something. Like, girl, did you call these people out here to just say, I'm doing good? Did you call your own advertising team? Did you call your own paparazzi photo shooters to come take specific pictures of you so you can let the world know you're back on your feet? You're doing real well. Oh, is that your robot going around out here? Because you sure wasn't saying anything. They were trying to get an interview from you. A little quick see. Uh, give you a little, little, little some confirmation coming from you, from your ver- verbalness, your vocal cord to the public. And you like, I'm doing fabulous. Well, damn, I mean, you may be thinking you're doing fabulous, but you're doing some shady shit around here, Wendy. You're doing some shady, crazy stuff. Because ain't nobody in their right mind that's sick. And I wouldn't say on their last leg, but you, call, you sure can't go nowhere without them glasses, can you? You need them glasses to see. As well as you need that foot to be secured into some type of slippers. Okay, bedroom slippers, flip-flops, uh, sandals, however you want to look at it. Some, some mules. Just something you just stick your feet in and go on about your business. Because lo and behold, you step on a nail, a piece of glass, you pretty much through, girl. You're going to be septic. Meaning your blood is going to be poisoned. Because you went out there... And you around the team. I don't know where this little burly man coming from. He should have been picking you up and dumping you in the car. You know, like a little child. You pick the child up, dump it in the car seat, strap it down. That's what he should have been doing. That would have been the chivalrous thing to do. But he's sitting up here. He got on shoes. Man in that video got on shoes. But you running around him in that cold weather with your uh robe or touch your robe on with some slippers i mean not some slippers but some uh foot socks they give you to keep your foot warm in the hospital because it's so cold now that's the burly man i'm talking about metro d i don't know what he is but he should have been talking you two o'clock are you on wait probably about what, 130 something like that wendy Oh, that was just a horrible look horrible wendy horrible and then your feet looking like that on your little leg, your little body. Big feet, little head. Girl, get it together. Get it together, Wendy. Cause I don't want to hear nothing else coming. Because, you know, they already want Sherry Shepard to take over your show. You know, which, you know, ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. But she's doing a hell of a good job over there, Wendy. She's doing a very good job. And I think it helps that she is a comedian as well. So she's really dressed for this type of atmosphere of a talk show with a little mess served up on the side. But nobody can really replace the iconic Wendy Williams when it comes to the gossip control. Nobody can do it better than you, honey. Nobody. I don't know nobody out here. It, it might be a few people coming along that want to take and succeed you. But you're like, you know you had a good run. You know you 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 the people's first choice. But as we do, we start off young and we get old. And we can't always do the things that we love to do as we age later on in life. Prime example. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Sawyer. No, Barbara Walters is who I'm thinking about. Barbara Walters. You know, she's been out the scene too because she don't want people to see how old and feeble she's gotten. She don't want people to remember her that way. To me, that's a vain way of existing. Okay? Because just as sure as you're going to live, as sure as you're going to die, just as sure as you are born young, you're going to go into the old age stage if you are blessed to see that. So when I'm like, you're fabulous. Nobody can take that away from you. You're a millionaire. I'm surprised you're not a billionaire, to tell you the truth. But you're on the high end. You're on the high end of the uh, millionaire status. But girl, put some shoes on your feet. 
put some shoes on your feet. And, you, and even if you was on the sand, that sand is nasty too. You know, it got bugs in it as well. With your problems you have with your health, you need to be as sterile and clean as possible. Especially when it comes to what's supporting your whole body to stand up. And that is your feet, baby. So put some shoes, some slippers, some mules, okay, on them feet. The next time you are seen out in public, girl, come on. Do your due diligence. If you want to stay in the world and you want to do your part, do your part and secure yourself and keep yourself safe, Wendy. Okay, but that's all I got for this video, y'all. If y'all want to chime in and say what the hell Wendy doing around now, or is that Wendy or is that her clone? Get down in them comments. Talk to me about it. Because I just, I don't understand. It, it just mind boggles me. The buffoonery that goes on with these slabs out here, or these wannabe slabs, okay? But that's all I got, y'all. Like a love, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, and share them. Share this girl's stuff. Share these videos, okay? I'm sure you're going to get a chuckle or some type of informative info that you can use. Maybe not now, but later, okay? Trust and believe. I come with the wealth of knowledge. I be dropping gems in my videos from the beginning to the middle to the end. And I suggest you watch it from beginning to end because you never know what you may get out of it that you can use later on. Okay, and if not, you came and got a good laugh off me. All right, that's what I give the gift of laughter, the gift of gab. Okay, but I will see y'all next video. Y'all make sure y'all join me now. Bye bye.